Hi, my dear year four students. I'm going to start a new chapter, Angles. This is a very important chapter, so please listen carefully. What I'm going to focus on this video is naming the angle. I'm going to start with an example for you. So for example, we have a line, which we call it A. The other line is straight in the uh, straight in the to to the right, and it's B and O. So the angle that we have we call it X. This is what we call it vertex, and we have one angle with the two line AO and BO. The two lines that we see is A O A and O B. Correct? These are the two lines that we see and then these two lines they came together in a vertex and made an angle X. We can name the angle as X or we can also call it angle AOB. Is that true? A from the top, A, O, B. Is there anything else that we can call this angle? Yes. We can also call this angle B, O, A. So there is three ways of calling this angle. Angle X, angle A, O, B, angle B, O, A. So that's how we call an, the angle. So I'm going to give you another example. For example, we have a triangle. And in this triangle, F, D, E. And the angles, small e, small d, small f. It's a very usual to call the angles the lowercase of the outside. So how do we call each of the angles? We have angle D, we have angle E, and we have angle F. Now we're going to say the other names or the other name that we, call, we can call the angles. So we can say angle D or also we can say angle EDF or we can say FDE. What about angle E? Try. What else can you call angle E? So we can say the vertex is E. The other two lines are D and F. So we can call it angle D, F or angle F, E, D. What about F? So whichever angle that we're going to name it, that angle, it stays in the middle. So you see E, the E is in the middle. You see D, D came in the middle. So now we're going to do name the call, uh, name the angle F will be EFD. Or we can also call it DFE. So that's how we name the angles. These are the two examples I wanted to share in the beginning for the lesson. Now I'm going to do some practice questions for you. In practice number one, I'd like to introduce you 
two parts, part A, part B. In part A, we have two lines going up. We call this one G, we call this one J. For those of you who have the book, you can go to page 89. That's the page I'm talking about right now. For those of you who don't have the book, no problem. I'm writing and doing all the practices here for you. And we call it H. And the angle that I created by the two line GH and HGJ is called V. So now I'm going to name the angles. We say angle V or what do we say? What can we say? G H J or angle J H G. So these are the two names that we can give instead of saying angle V. Okay. For part B, we have a rectangular. One of the angles is called X, C, D, A, and B. If it's asking us, how do you call this rectangle? What's the name? It can say it's A, B, C, D. Or you can say B, C, D, A. So you can play around with that. But in this question, it's asking, call, name each marked angle in three different ways. So one way we can call angle X, or we can call it angle A, B, C, or we can call it CBA. Okay? Pause the video if I'm going too fast. I'm going to do another practice. Number two is asking, I'm going to write the question for you. So if you have your notebook ready, you can copy down the questions as well. Name each angle in three different ways. So we have part A. This is called N, this is called M, O, and inside it's Y. So the only angle I see in this figure is angle Y. How else can I call this angle? So we say OR, angle, N, O, M or angle MON, correct? So you see O is always in the middle. So where the two line meets, that, uh, that point is going to be in the middle when you're calling the angle. Part B is another example. We have one line going to the right, one, go, one line going down. This is called Z, K, L, J. So the only angle you see is angle Z, or we can call it L, K, J, or I'm just going to pause for a moment so you have time to try, or you can just pause the video and give it a try. 
Yes, that's correct. It's J, K, L. So these are the three names that we can call angle Z. But we usually say angle Z, for example, because it's easier to say it. But sometimes in the question, they might say angle L, K, J. So you have to know different names and different way to call the angle because it's going to be helpful in a question. I'm going to do number three for you. So the question is asking name each angle in another way. Similar question. So I'm going to draw the figures that we have. is one of them and then I'm gonna name the inside angles that we have A. it's helpful if you have a notebook and you copy as I'm going as well so it's like you're in a class and I'm teaching you and you can learn at the same time so that will be helpful so I would suggest that we have angle A. What else do we see? Angle B. Angle C. Do we have C? Yes, we have C, D, and E. Okay. It's asking another way of calling these angles. So, for example, angle A, we call it PQR. Angle B, I'm just going to show you with a different color. So this is angle B, correct? So how do we, can, how can we call it? We can call it Q, R, S, correct? What about angle C? This is C. I'm showing you with the color pink. We can say R, S, T. What about angle D? So the midpoint is T. We say S, T, P. Angle E is here. We can call Q, P, T, or if I want to give another name, I can say T, P, Q. So these are the names that we can call um, the angles. This is the last example I'm going to give you. We have a shape U, V, W, X, and the angles created inside each one's is as follow N M F G H I J and K now it's asking for angle G which is right here or another way of calling angle G, I'm going to go over the lines so you can see, will be one line down and going this way. Correct? So the vertex is v U. It's from V, U, W. So we call it V, U, W. Or also we can call it W, U, 
V. Now we're going to angle K. Angle K is right here. I want to show it with blue. Then go over the lines, one here and one over there. That's how this angle was created, right? So the vertex is W. Another way we can call the angle K is UWX or XWU. It's only asking for another name, but I'm writing the both names. So in case um, you get you got one of them, then you can compare your answers with me. Another one is angle X V W. Let's find it. I'm gonna choose purple. X V W. Okay, it's right here. So when I go over the lines, what angle does it create? X, V, W. The angle is I. So we say or angle I. That's it. Or we say W, V, X. Another one, U, X, V. U, X, V. When I go over the line, I can see that we have the angle M. We can say this is angle M. Another name, we can call it angle V, X, U. That's it. Okay, we're done with this practice. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you want me to make another video how to measure an angle with protractor, make sure you comment below. Subscribe me for more videos so you can be notified. See you soon. Bye.